the first to know in same PTV. And uh, Dr. Bernard Okoboy and Afe Yura, Sami Genfi, Eko Kopiemu, Ewo Good Morning, Ghana, Nana, Enye, Ase Mkotoa, Enye, Sami Genfi, Ede Toha, Na Yura, Dr. Bernard Okoboy, so actually, he said, Oni Weja, Tintin, Ye Pa, Nenu, Entre, Se, Wafe, Nona, Na, Sami Genfi, E Kasa, Ena, Ode, E Tu, E Gya, Se, Se, Ope, Kata, Se, Shane, Pro, Ye Pa, Dia, and to me, and can now only NPP among you, no infirm, especially judgment debt. I hold what NPP among you, no, a chiano. So, what they compare NDC among you, no, a exceptional a BNC da say a bind the other pana, ye can't cut us a shiny proyal. What general and answers are the NPP among you, no, 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 and a doctor Bernard Okobo is a now we are poor women are can corruption as a maw, some again fee. Uh, le momo party led by John Dramani Mahama and our Obabeka corruption as a Yentie Dr. Bernard Okoboy. Manche, <laughs> look, the president mentioned Attorney General, the orientation of the current Attorney General <laughs> under President Mahama. We had an Attorney General, in fact, a Deputy Attorney General, Martin Udo, is on record. Aminu said he told him, don't sit here in the office and be determining cases and conceding and yielding and putting the state in a situation of liability. Go to court and defend every claim. Aminu said it. He said he told him, but check out from this behavior. These are all forms. These are forms that corruption can emerge or be created or be consolidated. And under are, are this, you suggesting that under uh, your government you have not paid that judgment debt? But that's not genuine. No. All what I'm saying is that the attitude and orientation of this government is that for every claim we challenge it in court, open court. It is not every claim that you have challenged. <laughs> but, but 2017 you paid 111 million cities. 2018 you paid 153. Yes. 2019 you paid 13.9. 2020 you paid 18.9. 2021 you paid 357.811. 2022, 2.8 million. The point I'm making is that mm. if you compare the number of cases resolved on the table and those we are fighting, the figures are huge. We are fighting more compared to them. No, you are. <laughs> Manche. So, look, look, and again, people have forgotten so soon. Had it not been for this government, mm. I don't want to mention his name. His name has been mentioned in, even a song came out. But there were some individuals who got some payments. Mm. And it has taken this government to have some retrieved back mm. to chest and even chase them for others. Mm. In open court, there were judgments in open court. Mm. Mm. So the orientation of this government, and look, when the ports were being made paperless, I know practitioners, as in those who are into that business, who initially fought and said, oh, you know, let's keep the old. It, now with the system, the face to face has reduced. There's been some huge cities. And when you look at, how do you call it, those who are even practicing, those, the importers, they will tell you that now, even in the night, in your house, there are some procedures that you can do on your phone or online. And then, uh, how do you call it, the access to goods is reduced compared to the past. That's not to say that every bureaucracy has been reduced. But the ways to reduce corruption involves putting systems in place. But human, human beings by nature are... Uh, corruptible. So you always want to put a system where even if the fellow is a criminal, the system will not make it possible for them to perpetrate like, like SML. Now, if you look at the PDS, the claims of PDS, uh, by the way, uh, I don't want to mention his name again. Mm. We have people who were in the banking sector mm. who under the extra regime got money from Bank of Ghana, uh, uh, misappropriated the funds, uh, 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 how do you call it? treated people's savings in a funny way mm. and under this regime they've been tried in court mm. courts of competent jurisdiction monies have been retrieved and they've been jailed this fighting corruption actually mm. oh come on but you see jm the, the loans the loans that have taken us to where we are how come the in your loan section i said the loans oh, jump the loans yeah. that have taken us to where we are people were profiting from them uh, now, by the way, look, uh, this talk that uh, 
when Kane arranged loans, he got paid and all that. Not just him. No. Mancheba, before Kane came, mm. the previous, previous presidents we had, when they went for loans, mm. there were uh, financial institutions that arranged. They also got paid for services. Hello, Mali. I don't want to mention it. Coach, you know, you hear Now, price movement. Can you just repeat what you said? Manche, um, you know, I don't want to provoke you. We are aware now. Part of events. Uh -huh. Of course. Manche, you know, <laughs> I think it is important to mention that. Yeah. In fact, I brought figures Your here. Your style of communication must be studied in uh, political no, communication. No, <laughs> See, I've, I've, heard, I've heard my brothers in the NDC make very strenuous, frantic efforts mm. to tell the Ghanaian that you are suffering because you have a useless Ecuador government. Mm. But Manche, mm. forgive me, there is some level of dishonesty in that particular presentation. All right. Our brothers in the NDC, including the flag bearer, and by the way, let me congratulate JM for choosing Professor Jane. I see. You know, oh, we are working with intelligence. Now, okay. you see, if it had been someone else, people can argue that and yet JM, that and one, the complimentary one can bring some change. Mm. But now that is the same set. Mm. No. It's the same set. Mm. At least, when you are looking at the past eight years, mm. you know that the history and the record is likely to be transmitted. Because Professor Jane was vice president for eight years. Oh, man. So I'm asking you. Okay. All right. So, but congratulations to <laughs> Jane for choosing Jane. Doc, now, I was speaking to the dishonesty. Why are you looking at him like that? <laughs> no, I was speaking to the dishonesty because oh, God. in 2020, Doc, when COVID struck, yes. the, the, how do you call it, the livelihoods of people were eroded, mm -hmm. taken away from them. Mm -hmm. And I always use Alisa, which is right here, as an example. When COVID struck, most of the workers in Alisa had to go home. In fact, some were given reduced amounts because Virtually, the hotels were closed mm. just to keep body and soul together. Doc, mm. COVID eroded the livelihoods of people globally. Mm -hmm. In fact, COVID, the inflation, and I've, I listed a few countries, the mm. inflation for Senegal. Mm. You know, there are some countries that have been set like our contemporaries or in terms of their, they are like good examples in West Africa. Senegal, over time, mm. has emerged as one of them. Mm. If you look at 2012, Senegal's inflation rate was 1.4. Inflation in Senegal dropped to 0 0.8 in 2015. Doc, as late as 2018, it was 0 0.4 in Senegal. Mm -hmm. Guess what? In 2020, it went to 2.5. Mm -hmm. And this is mathematics. Mm -hmm. If you divide 2.5 by 0 0.4, mm -hmm. it's about 400, 500 percent. Mm -hmm. So, sometimes I see people doing raw that will garner our inflation as not 43 percent, 50 percent. If you look at our historical inflation rates, even under GM, mm -hmm. Inflation was a double-digit deficit. The average inflation rate under GM was double-digit. So, when you, comp you, 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 you list the trend, you realize that although the figures nominally look big, in terms of percentages, it can be compared to our contemporaries. Doc, inflation rose to 9.69 in Senegal, from 0 0.4 to 9.69, over tenfold. What caused this, Manche? You are... Uh, you, you've gone ahead of me, Bonier PhD. Look at the trend. You have a trend which is stable. All of a sudden, there's a big jump. An event caused it. What caused it? Coach, I can catch it. Like an event. Mm. You know what? Now, leave Senegal. Let's come to Nigeria. 2013, Nigeria's inflation rate 8.5%. 2020, 13.2%. Manche. 2021, 16.9%. 2022, 18.5%. What made. Uh, their inflation jumped from an average of 9 to about 20% in 2023, Manche. You are PhD student. Something accounts for that jump. Now, let's come to Japan. In fact, Japan's average inflation rate before COVID struck. What are you trying to tell correct. us? Correct. Mm -hmm. I like this question. It's to tell you that globally, mm -hmm. 
an event disrupted the management of countries mm -hmm. and made uh, conditions of living tougher as a result of an increase in... But is, that, is that in doubt? Oh, but some, some don't refer to no, it. It's not in doubt. Oh, but okay, it's not in doubt. Okay. Okay. I mean, we are, you are, the inflation is will high. You be, will, so, you, will you be able to tell me, for example, yeah. Senegal, yeah. how much money they got as a result of COVID? Uh, how many taxes they instituted no, as a result of COVID? I've written all this, naturally. Okay, okay. please tell yeah. us. Okay. So, um, yeah, so the point I want to make is that, mm. look, Price movements have been part of the fourth Republican uh, dispensation. But we all admit that the inflationary rates became very high post-2020. Mm. And I'm saying confidently that the factors that accounted for it were not only local, mm. but external. Mm. If Sami talks and consists to the external, I will not speak much. Mm. That's my, my, my problem. Okay. Now, look, Wind up for me. Um, yeah, let me wind up. See, Doc, I think this is the way I would like to round up. If eight years was enough to sol solve all of a country's problems, mm. I don't think JM will be coming back mm. and he wants to lead us. JM mm. coming back as a candidate mm. is an admission that to fix a country with fundamental issues, mm. eight years is not enough because he was president for eight years. Mm. I was present for eight years. Oh, but no, no, call work about me. I bet you like an affair. Going by that analogy, mm -hmm. now the talk in town mm -hmm. and the presentation is that look, when you are vice president, mm -hmm. you are virtually the co driver. Mm -hmm. So if Jim was a co driver for four years mm -hmm. and driver for four years, it means he's been like a president for eight years okay. using their. So same as Baumia. But, uh -huh. okay. Yes. Okay. but for Jim, he was co one and main four. <laughs> <laughs> but what I mean, aha. Okay, so, okay. Um, Doc, mm -hmm. I think the job we have as politicians, mm -hmm. when you drill everything down to basics, Doc, what the ordinary man watching the show now, mm -hmm. listening to us, is to make sure that some basics are there. Mm -hmm. Power must be available, mm -hmm. it must be affordable. Mm -hmm. Sami must show us the record mm -hmm. of JM. Mm -hmm. Mm. That shows that he can make power affordable and available mm. as your viewer wants mm. compared to uh, Maham, uh, how do you call it? Baumia, mm. his association with this government mm. and what he says he will do. Mm. What we must demonstrate to the public, mm. the one watching us now, is how we would ensure that when their kids finish school, they can easily get a job mm. based on our track record in public service. Mm. So, if you get someone who has never been given opportunity in private sector and public maybe you can use only hope mm. but both gentlemen mm. going for the election mm. have records mm. and based on their record mm. we can have an idea mm. whether what they tell us can be done okay. and uh, like, uh, uh, lastly social protection mm. there are people who are in certain states now that even good policies cannot take them out mm. we need to find there are some like leap like this health insurance, we need to find ways to find ways to strengthen mm. and make such social protection policies mm. more robust. Mm. These are the things mm. that Ghanaians want. And those high valuation things that Sami wants us to believe can only be achieved through a lot of hard work, mm. a lot of details, mm. and not slogan here. Okay. All right. So 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 our time is almost up. We, we don't but have we don't we, we don't even have five minutes. But, oh yes. yes. Oh, but you have so much. I, I, I will not be. If, we will not even be able to speak with uh, Mr. Kofi you do that tomorrow of Africa Edu Watch. Mm -hmm. I, I apologize, Kofi. I apologize. We will do the interview if if it's fine by you. We will do that first thing. To I'm glad Dr. Abi has corrected you that unemployment has always been a security threat and was the case even under Kofi. But we came and did our part to reduce the rate of unemployment. All the investments we made in infrastructure, the port expansion, the, the modernization of our markets, the expansion of our airports, and all that created decent, sustainable jobs. And so even though under us there was unemployment, the rate of unemployment was only 8.4%. 
You said that rate of unemployment, which was 8.4%, was too much. And that same was the mark of incompetence. And that under you, the economy was going to grow and grow and grow, and that there will be jobs and jobs and jobs. Today, unemployment rate is 14.7%. Is 14.7% better than 8.4? That is the issue. Youth unemployment, 15 years to 24 years, 30%. 15 years to 35 years, 22% unemployment rate. Is that better than what you complain about in opposition? That is the issue. Then he says that the economy, Akufuado, uh, came to meet. Number one, uh, fiscal deficit was out of control. For your information, fiscal deficit in 2020, uh, 2016 was 6.1%. It went up to 15% under your watch, under the watch of Bahumia in 2020. All time high and then to 12% by 2022. So in terms of fiscal recklessness and mismanagement, you don't have any <laughs> a basis to even talk about that. And as growth was declining, yes, it's true, 3 points is growth. What is the economic growth now? 2.8, according to President Kufuado. Is 2.8 better than 3.6? Huh? Then, what about the... $250 million President Mahama left you. When you were talking about the economy, you came to meet. That one, you didn't talk about it. $250 million in the stabilization fund, which became your savior when COVID struck. You didn't talk about that. $250 million in the sinking fund, which President Mahama bequeathed to you to be used to pay the Kofor $750 million euro bond we contracted in 2007. That one, you wouldn't talk about it. The almost 1 million tons of cocoa we left you. You won't talk about it, which is today moving around 500,000 and below. Our lowest in 20 years. You won't talk about all the things we left you.